My name is Heard and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And today, we are probably gonna be set to flame. I have a potion, wow, look at that big dude. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing here. Beyond, whoa, look, what is next to, oh, hello. Oh, it's this guy and his friends. Oh gosh, he's mad, he's brought some friends. Uh, how about really quickly? We do a bit of this, I throw it, and I just detonate it. That got rid of one of them, that's good. How am I getting rid of the rest of them, though? They really, you know what I need? You know what I need? No, 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 hold on. Get that. Ow, oh my face. <laughs> He's punching me right in the face. Stop, please. Oh, that's gonna get him. Nice, okay, our sledgehammer is badly damaged, though, so we can't do that much, that is not a go-to answer. The bombs are really a much better option, I guess. Uh, so maybe, let me get the next one. Oh no. Okay, there's more of them, which I was expecting. You always gotta expect the expected and the unexpected. That way you're just expecting everything. You know, even if Mario comes down and is like, this is my game now, ha. Oh. You gotta expect that. Oh, because this dude's straight snoozing. And those little chew jellies. I don't have many arrows down. I really wish there was some place around here I can get a checkpoint. Uh. Oh, no, I didn't want you to attack first. No, no, hold on, hold on. This is not gonna work going uphill. Well, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, hey, I got them all, nice! I wanna take, wait, 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 oh, wrong button, wrong button, red choo-choo jelly, a jiggly substance and that normally comes from a fire choo-choo. It constantly gives off heat. If struck, it will explode into a ball of flame. Can I please press the right buttons? Oh no, roll, run away. I think some choo-choo jelly's rolling away from it. Get back here, choo-choo jelly, you're mine! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. Okay, so he's still chasing me. Oh no, he got bored. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to ignite soon. I know, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it, ready? Throw it! Ah, I got him! Oh, oh, that worked! That totally worked right there! Come on! Hua, hua. <laughs> okay, so, I don't have too many options and I don't have too much time. I need to quickly, uh, Get this ice rod, and then, no, no. I don't know how much you'll like being iced, but uh, I can now quickly switch to my other weapons, and then there's probably, what's the most damaging? Uh, this is actually, oh, oh, but that breaks it. But he fell down to the floor, onto the floor. He's begging for no more. Well, he's gonna get it. I got him that way, that was so cool. What is this? This is a dragon bone moblin spear. The spear is a fan favorite among moblins, the spearhead, is made from fossilized bones adorned with spikes, which is increases its stabbing power. Wow. Okay, I can't pick it up just yet, but hold on, I got like 70 things to pick up here. This is just so ridiculous, I love it. Okay, back up here. What can I drop? That had 15 damage, it might be better than this. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I should have just gone here to begin with, uh, drop the spiked Boko Club, and pick up this, which has a little bit more damage. 15, yeah. And it's just sort of like a jabby, jabby weapon. I appreciate that. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> he just run into another one of his friends. Then I'm gonna try going around this way really quick. Also, we should save. We've been making great progress already. Uh, I don't want to abuse saves, and I really don't plan on it. We'll have to see. So there's that tower over there again. It would be in my best interest to get that, but. Oh, these stuff, this stuff is tough to climb. Just get to the top of here. Oh, I don't like the look of these guys. Uh, I mean, I could. Oh, well, that's not really what I wanted. Oh, oh, well, it's gone. See it. <laughs> oh no. And I still don't really have a good idea about where I'm going. And that's why I'm so hesitant to use my potion and why I'm saving so gosh darn much is so that I can know where I'm supposed to go with the, oh hey, hey, how you doing? Nice you to drop on by, why are you guys here again? Oh yeah, this is your home, oh, okay. Come on, can you stop so I can pick up your bow? What bow was that? That was a moblin arm, what was the bow? It was a knight's bow, oh sweet, I think that's good. Can you guys stop it? I know you guys are becoming alive again with your little bouncy heads, but I need you to not do that, thank you. I got an axe? Oh, there's an axe there, apparently. Uh, hold on, where's our axe? That's a moblin arm, not too interested in that one. Can you stop trying to jab at me? These guys, they have no quit in them. It's both impressive and intimidating. 
And then we got these dudes over here. You know what? These guys, I'm gonna do a bit of that too. Wow, that is just such a huge explosion. It's really satisfying too. All right, these guys, oh gosh, oh gosh. There's just too many. There's too many. Hold on, can I? No. Stop being so difficult to hit. Stop it. I'm gonna jab you if you aren't careful. If you aren't careful, I'm gonna jab him. I've, I've been a, a practice jabber all my life. Ow, my face. Come on, don't do that. Don't do that. Why am I fighting like these enemies right now? There's like 18 of them. I really don't need this in my life, but here I am. Oh, it's badly damaged. Where are you guys going though? I need to pick up some of this stuff like the Zelizer Fork Spear. Oh no. Why am I doing this? I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> um. Which one should I drop then? If this is almost broken, ow! Thank you, fairy. I mean, I really wish I didn't have to use the fairy there. Hey, a red Lizolfo's tail. Uh, the severed tail of a, uh, a fire breath Lizolfo's. Its flavor makes its flesh inedible, but toss into a stew with some critters and you'll make yourself a nice elixir. Gosh, these guys just don't give up. Ow, and I'm dead. Yeesh. Okay, so I just need to avoid those guys at all costs. There's too many enemies at once and I just got them all to attack me at once. Which is just, just a good idea, right? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Okay, battle tip. It's dangerous to approach enemies head on when you're low on hearts, I know. Instead of throwing yourself at enemies, ugh, it's really try to drive that point down that I stink at this. I think I wanna focus on this guy first because you know he's pretty much in the way. Okay, that didn't exactly hit him as much as I was hoping, but this one, Maybe it will. Not really. Okay, not a good start. But if I move it and groove it, I might be able to pick this one back up, throw it, and then, no, come on. Don't be a stinker, dude. Then I'm gonna go back to using this because this worked out pretty well before. Ow, and I'm dead again. Well, I'm not, I'm not dead yet. Uh, This is not what I wanted. Well, I'm doing it. Oh, get you. I need to just destroy you as much as I can with the wrong thing though, maybe? Yeah? Come on, just. Jab him, just keep jabbing him and then dodge it. Oh, oh no, come on, why does he hurt so bad? Why does he hurt so stinking bad? I need, I need uh, this fish can help and then some of that, maybe a little too much there. But uh, come on, get him first, get him first, got him. Jeez. Uh, The dragon bone moblin spear again. Here we are with this situation once more. We don't currently have a discord, no, but hopefully at some point. Uh, well, I already have a Dragon Bone Moblin Spear. Got some of that stuff. I feel like it's just gonna be easier to climb these mountains and avoid as much as I possibly can, but that's why they put the little skeleton guys up there too, so that no matter what, you don't have an easy time. Okay, let me get up here. Oh my. I appreciate you sharing the stream though. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I just said that twice. <laughs> okay, let's get up here. I'm waiting to be set on fire. Hasn't happened yet. Well, we gotta go this way. I feel like I can make that distance. I mean, it depends on how much of that is climbing. Is that at the base of the mountain? If it is it not, we're gonna find out. The, f the higher up I can get though, the more of a chance I can just glide there. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh. Can I not stand on here? It looks like a very standable thing. I can, awesome, I really needed that. Come on, just keep doing this again and again. Got it. Okay, that's gonna be really good because now I can just get up here and I'm definitely gonna save up here now that I've gotten past a lot of bad guys. Save and save. Okay, so I gotta go a little bit more like this. Yeah, straight to this little pinpoint on the map. And I don't have like too much extra health, but I should be, oh, there it is. I got Mif Mifa's thing. I forget what button that is, but I'll just bam buttons when I need it, I guess. Uh, I think it's like clicking one of the joysticks. Not on fire yet. We're getting there, oh my. I think we're about to get turned on fire. So, I need to figure out where to go and what to do. And remember the save point. Ooh. I think it's about to happen. I'm a little nervous. Oh, hey guys. Um, I would actually really like your bow, so I'm gonna drop this really quick next to you. Never mind. Um, okay, now I'm on fire. This is when I need the thing. So if I go to my inventory, 
This thing is gonna burn. This thing's gonna burn away. Some of these things are, yeah, oh no, that is really bad. I didn't realize that. Okay, so I, I have potions somewhere. I don't know where those potions end up being. I guess in the food category? Yes, fireproof elixir. Grants fireproof effect, which prevents your body from catching fire. Drink it. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, Now I'm just gonna run. These guys, you know, I don't care. I, I don't, oh, that was an arrow down. Okay, so our wooden shields will catch fire. Will that hurt me though? I don't think so. Well, goodbye to our bows, unfortunately. I just gotta book it for the next three and a half minutes. Yeah, Mifa Grease starts when all of your lives are up, but can't you like a, activate it sooner too if you're in a bad situation? I guess I wouldn't want to, would I? Okay, can you get up here, Link, please? But I did save, so if we do really mess this up and I don't really figure out where to go, I can sort of redo it, but hopefully three minutes is enough. Spike Boko Bow broke. Well, that stinks, doesn't it? Luckily, I have some good non-metal, I mean, non-wooden ones. I'm gonna glide across to here. Oh, this is so intense. How far off am I? I am still fairly far off. The part, problem is that there's so much verticality to this stuff. Don't stop believing, I'll try my best. There's so much verticality to, oh, hey, fire keys. They sound like a great time. You know, I woke up this morning, I was like, you know what, well, I wanna deal with fire keys. That's what I want to deal with in my life. Yeah, I know what it does. We've had it activate before. It's just a matter of I don't remember what button it is to activate it. Like I thought that there was both a button to activate it and also it activates if you die. Well, I'm gonna keep running. We're going in the right direction and I still have more than two minutes left. Oh man, a minute and a half went by quick then. That's alarming. They're chasing me too. I know they're chasing me. Oh my, I don't know where I'm going. This isn't where I'm supposed to be going. That just looks like an area strife with or rife with enemies, and I'm not interested. This might not be enough, but buy the armor when I get there. That'll be the goal. Oh, come on, come on, got it. Where am I going? Am I, I'm still going the right way. I don't know if I gotta go to the top or not. Does anybody know if I'm going to the summit or not? Like the beginning of the mountain or the top of it? Oh, you're not being rude at all. I was just sharing what I know and hearing what you know so I can learn as much as possible. It's not rude. I was just misunderstanding that, which is totally fine. I do that all the time. Okay, so it's definitely over here. Oh, oh! I don't know which one to go to. I guess this one. I got a minute and a half. What was that noise? Should I really ask? Asking doesn't seem to help. No, I'm gonna fall. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Just gotta believe. Just gotta believe. Okay, why? Why was this not difficult enough? <laughs> what? What? Why? They're getting close to a tower. Oh, that's good to know. I do not have much time left. I don't think this is going to be enough, but it's up there. Oh, hey, there was a little, oh, wait, what, what, what's happening? It's a blood moon. <laughs> As if, wait, wait, no, is it not a blood moon? Oh, come on. What is that thing? Very nice place, very peaceful. As if our day couldn't go worse. Is that the next thingamajig? I'm pretty sure that's the next thingamajig. It's a fire turtle. That looks like a fire turtle to me if you've if ever seen one. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be a lizard. I want it to be a fire turtle. So now it is. He doesn't look nice. He does not look pleasant. Yeah, he's another divine beast. I, I, I figured that he'd be something like that. He looks like the elephant, but just made of different pieces. That's the town I gotta try to get to. I gotta be close, right? I think I entered from the wrong way. So I still have to climb up and survive for the next couple of seconds. Come on, come on. I'm gonna blame that on that cutscene. That cutscene messed me up. Come on. Oh no, don't fall, Link. Don't, I said don't fall, and guess what you just did? Buddy, you fell. I might die, I might die. What am I supposed to do about this? I just guess I'll let my stamina build back up. Come on, oh no. Come on, I've stood on rocks like this before. Ooh. Got it, got it, got it. Let my stamina refill. I have 25 seconds left. Got it. Uh. Come on. Ooh. This has to be it, right? It's something. Oh, it's down here, it's down here. 
Then am I above it? Am I below it? I really can't tell. Whoa, hold on, be careful there, Link. I'm here, I'm at Goron City. That's great, but I'm on fire now. Hey, uh, where's the shop at, huh? Anybody know? This is the shop, maybe it's in here, hey, um. Hey guys, I'm just on fire. Don't mind me. Okay, this is hurting. I need to probably save now. Save now. Uh, wait. And then eat some apples, maybe? That'd be great. <laughs> uh, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. I'm just trying to buy some time until I figure out where I'm going. Because I don't think it's this room. I don't think it's this room. There's nothing in here. There's so many, uh, there's so many options. So many options. Oh, uh, so many options. It has to be down here, right? Maybe, wait! Uh. Is there anything that might be able to boost my health for a little bit? I don't think so. Saving on fire, well it's not my only save slot. I have multiple choices if I've really messed up. But I'm, oh, hey, how are you doing? Hey, you can't get a, go out dressed like that. If you don't hurry and change your gear, you're gonna pass up in the heat. I want to buy. Hey, you can't be so casual about stuff like that. Hurry up and buy some gear. This doesn't seem like a good time to talk. Give me the shirt then. Where is it? Oh, oh, it's over there. Uh, I have enough, okay. Uh, armor crafted by the Gorons for Hylians curious enough to visit Goron City. It's made from fire resistant rocks that protect the wearer. Got it. I just read it. Inventory and equip. Am I on fire? I think I might still be on fire. No, I'm fine. I don't have to buy the rest of it because I don't have enough money. Oh, oh boy. I made it. I made it. Hey, buddy. You have the privilege of standing in a ripped and tr standing in ripped and shredded my armor shop. How can I help you? Uh, I want to buy. Of course you do. If if you gear up here, uh, you'll be set to stay cool up places even hotter than Goron City. With what you're wearing right now, you should really give up on going anywhere hotter than Goron City. So I need to wear the full outfit if I want to do more than this. Places that are that hot are forbidden to anyone who isn't Goron anyhow. Do you need anything else? Uh, what is this place? As you can see, this here is my armor shop. Funny thing is Gorons normally don't wear anything at all. We started selling flame resistant armor to the tourists. I recommend the flame breaker boots over all else. Them, they're made using gems mined from this very soil. As you expect, they have great flame resistance. Give them a try. They're the envy of famous warriors the world over. Do you need anything else? No. See, so yeah, we're not 100% fireproof, but we can survive this area. So I'm gonna have to earn up more cash, but if I can just find a teleport spot, where are these boots he's blabbing about? I mean, I guess the boots are a part of the shoes, so I don't know why you're talking about it like that. Oh boy. Um. So, I need to look around and see if there's anywhere I can, there's a shrine up there. I might be able to reach that then, I don't know where there's a tower, but I'm sure I could find one if I search for long enough. Hello. Stay at my inn, friend. A traveler, perfect. Why don't you stand, or hey, why don't you stand over there and rest your weary head? What is this place? This is my distinguished Goron establishment rolling in. Oh, I like that. See that? What a lovely view of Death Mountain. Huh. That's what I'd like to say anyways, but boss's house is kinda in the way. Ooh. He stinks. But to make up for that, I can offer you a mostly pain-free massage session. You'll feel loosing as gravel afterwards. Yep, I think you should definitely stay here, friend. Maybe later. Oh, hey. Uh, ah! Hey, fella, buy something. What now? A Hylian like you needs this, right? A fireproof elixir. I probably do. Here's what I'll do, fella. Just for you, I'll sell you the fireproof elixir at a special price for only 60 rupees. I don't think I need it right now. Never mind. Well, don't come crying to me when you're on fire, fella. All right, see ya. All right, well, I'm happy that we were able to get some stuff done. Ooh, there's arrows here. Well, we have it all here. Some fire arrows. I got some ice arrows. I wonder if I could have shot myself with an ice arrow. Goron spice made from several types of spices. This secret Goron seasoning has been handed down for generations. An initial wave of spiciness paves the way for the sweetness. I'll buy a couple of these, because I don't know where I'm gonna take, I'm gonna find them anywhere else. 48 rupees, sure. Okay, and then here we have cane sugar. When boiled with other ingredients, the cane breaks down into a sweet juice necessary for making cakes and other sweets. It's commonly found ingredients 
in stores. Well, if it's commonly found, I don't have to worry about it. And then rocks. <laughs> Rocked salt. Okay, crystallized salt from the ancient sea, commonly used to season meals, cannot be eaten in this form. I think we've gotten rock salt before. Don't have to worry about that now. Can I break these? I can throw them. No. Oh. He didn't like that. <laughs> Hello, who are you? I wanna learn about everybody around here. Ooh. Welcome to Protein Pound as the hot spot for all the rocks grilling. How's it going? You need something? Uh, what is this place? <laughs> I'll take a look around and this is a grilling joint. Normally corns only eat rocks, mm, the good stuff. Still, well, this kind of thing is for the tourists. Well, we sell this kind of thing for the tourists. They love it. Come on, eat up. And get yourself a meaty, a meaty muscle body like us Gorons. Need anything else? What do you have then? Wow, really? I haven't had a customer in ages. I'll tell you something interesting. Goron City is so hot, if you put anything on the ground, it'll cook up in no time. Once people figured that out, we lost all of our customers, all of them. So yeah, if you see something you want, just grab it off the grill. Need anything else? See ya. Go back any old time. So what do you got here? Toasty Highland Inch Room. Seared steak, roasted bass. All right, well, none of that's a must have. And where is that shrine then? Because I feel like that's my best bet, but uh, hello, I can talk to you. This is the house of the distinguished Goran artisan, Master Rohan. You need something? Who's Rohan? Master Rohan is a godly blacksmith. He's responsible for keeping the ancient arts alive. He's really strict with everyone, me included. In my case, he told me to beat every Igneo Talus around Goron City as part of my training. But I can't get to the Igneo, Igneo Talus at, at Darunia Lake. Uh, if only someone would go in my place. I can help you out with that. The road to, to respect. I thought it's the disrespect. That ain't the case. Ooh, is this free? It is free. I'll replace that with my sledgehammer, because mine ain't doing so hot. I mean, everything's doing pretty hot around here, but it ain't gonna be around for much longer. All right, well, we'll talk to this dude, Mr. Strict Guy, who's taking a nap. Hello, can I just grab anything? Oh, this is like a little game of tic-tac-toe. Hey, I'm always worried there's gonna be like Skyrim if you accidentally steal something, like 80 people are just gonna beat you up. Uh, if you find black giant rock things, break up and drop good amounts of items. You can rock, you can rock salt and maybe a diamond. Yeah, yeah, I know. I definitely try to break those whenever I have the things for them. Okay, so Rohan's sleeping. But uh, yeah, I try to get whatever I can. Usually I just don't always have the materials. Uh, hmm. Where is that shrine again? Hopefully it can be at least around the proximity of Goron City. So I can just find something to teleport to so I don't have to make that travel again. Even though it might be worth it. I definitely want to save now that I've gotten that done though. I haven't done that yet. Probably should do that now. Well, this looks like a path up. Oh my gosh, don't be silly. Whoop, got it. Hmm. Oh, hello, you're new. You have a cool crown. Oh, it's a Helion. That's unexpected. What are you doing here, little guy? There's only an abandoned mine past this point. That's a, that lots of monsters. In other words, it's dangerous. Okay, I don't care, I'm just trying to find the thing. What are these? Oh, this is a chair, that was like a weird mushroom. Not the case, just a chair. Oh, here's another one? Oh no, that, that's just a, a hat on a box. <laughs> Where is that? I know it was up more, but either way, going up will help me get a good view of where it might be. It's hard to tell because some things just look like, like a lava spire. Like that, that looked like it could be it, but I don't think it is. It's hard to tell. Huh. Oh my. Uh, don't walk right into the fire, maybe. Oh, hey, it's one of these, oh gosh. I don't think I'm ready to fight this thing. Get him, ostrich, get him. Get him. Right. Oh, come on. Can I pick up that rock? You know what then? Ha <laughs> ha, got him. That was awesome. Wait, did you talk to the old dragon dude? I'm not sure, I don't think so. I mean, there was a Rohan guy, but he was sleeping. I'm just trying to find something where I can get a uh, teleport, so if I do mess up and die, I'm fine. And I saw it when I was making my way into the city. But, I don't know. Oh, wait, it's right there, right in front of my stinking face. All right, well, we go get this. 
This is everything so bright and glowy around here. It's easy to miss. It's Shamu Shaw Shrine. So now I should be able to teleport this to any given to point in time, right? I think. Like, what about the one I didn't complete here? I didn't complete this one, but maybe I want to activate it. I need to activate it first. And I got it. Okay, so I don't know what I want to continue with. I honestly don't know. Because I feel like I don't have a lot of awesome stuff right now. Maybe it would be easier if I actually went back to the entrance of this like whole area. I mean, I feel like I gotta get a lot more towers. So if there's any towers around here, I'll get those. But if there isn't, I might go back to other areas and just get more towers there. Because there was one by the, uh, the horse stable that I would like to get. Yeah, I'm gonna activate these kind of things so we can get spirit orbs. I do have enough to get more hearts. I just need to find the time to do that. Oh, is this gonna be a battle one? Those are so much more enjoyable. To you to you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Shame Osa. In the name of the goddess Hali, I offer this trial. Good. Swinging flames. Uh, huh. Can I do this right now? Why not be able to? What does this button do? This opens the door. I need to burn that down. So how am I getting fire here? I can set myself on fire. Uh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I could, I do have some flint. I mean, I do have some fire arrows as well, but I feel like that's a huge waste with how expensive those are. So I have a couple options. I think the best one I have down is to hold one flint, drop it, and then simply just attack it. Ah, maybe I shouldn't have been on top of it when I did that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh. I like this. Oh, what was that gonna do to me? It's gonna give me some bonus. Attack up, hey! So if I wasn't attacking anything anytime soon, I got it. <laughs> By those torches. These torches, will they set things on fire? They look like more of like a normal light. But uh, I don't think, I don't have any arrows right now. That's another thing I need to go do is get more arrows. Okay, fancy noises. Oh, these guys, see, this is why I'm glad I got that upgrade then. Um, oh my, oh my, stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him, gotcha. All right, moving on to you. Oh, will that explosion of his hurt? No, it won't. Yay, okay, that was really easy. I love easy stuff. What about you over here? Come on, gotcha. Yeah, yeah that ain't happening, dude. I'm getting used to you guys too much. Your days are numbered. So what is with all of these platforms? Oh, there's a chest here. Can I just open this? I think I can. What is this gonna have? A ruby, cool. A precious red gem mined from large ore deposits found throughout Hyrule. Rubies contain the power of fire and have fetched high prices at, since ancient times. Cool. I, there's a sword here, guardian sword. I forget how much damage it does. It does more damage than this though, so I might make a trade. Yeah, we'll drop this. Doesn't do too much, comparatively. So there was something over here. This area seems really big for a shrine. Unless I've gone into a circle, which I've not yet. So there's something here. Seems as though I like need a key. Looks like a little keyhole. There's more here. Odd. Yeah, it does have really low durability, but I think it'll be okay. Oh my, look at that, okay. Uh, what do I have that I can throw that wouldn't be that big of a deal? Or that I could just get back pretty easily? I mean, I can get all of it back easily. So throw something that doesn't have too much damage or like this. That's not what I wanted. Oh, hey, there's a chest down here. Maybe those will give me what I need. Uh, ice arrows, hey, okay, that's good, but not perfect. Hmm. Cause I'd rather not use ice arrows against fire. That doesn't make no sense. I mean, maybe it'd just be easier to like throw this. I'm just trying to throw something so it flies far enough, but it just falls when you do that. So maybe that wouldn't work. Maybe I do just need arrows. What else is around here? There's plenty of chests, like a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll try the ice arrows. Oh, I got them for free. I might as well use them, right? I can't get up like that, okay. I had to see if I couldn't just cheese it. Okay, so let me get back up there. My attack up's about to end, but it ain't the end of the world. So I want to 
Well, now I have four nor normal arrows. Oh, I don't have a bow right now. Okay, I'm gonna use the strength and Lysel bow. Yes, okay, that's all I needed. So that's gonna burn that. It's gonna fall down there. Not too much more I can do with it at this moment, but it's fine, I can sit there. I feel like I missed some stuff. I'll never really have to go back for it anyways, so it's not a big deal. So what is this here? That'll open the door. Cool. Oh. Oh. Okay. And where does this lead? I might want to go quickly before the door closes. I don't know if it will close, but I don't want to find out the hard way. Uh, Small key, a key that can unlock doors and shrines. That's what I was looking for. So could I leave with the key? Use it somewhere else? That'd be fun. And then where was the place with the keyhole? I think it was back this way. Uh, right about here. Yep. So I can open up this area. And this place has been a bit of a maze. Like I feel like I'm definitely still missing some stuff. So this drops some fire there. Weird. And then what about, and will they go away once I hop off the button? They do. And this opens up that. So once I can figure out a way to get that fire over there, I don't have many chances with this, so I gotta figure it out quick. I mean, I guess, I there's an, oh, come on, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> well, now I'm back down here. See, there's this fire here. But this one's pretty simple, because I can just do that. And I don't know exactly what that's, oh, uh, that did nothing. Try Magnesis on fire, I'll give that a shot. Stone Smasher, holy cow, a two-handed weapon forged from a rare metal mined in Goron City. Its center of gravity is at its tip, so it uses centrifugal force and its sheer weight to smash an opponent flat. My inventory is full. Don't worry, I'll make some room for that big boy. Drop this, open that. <laughs> holy cow, 42 damage? That is huge. I don't even have it equipped right now. I just wanna see how big it is. That is huge. Ridiculous. So I don't know what this fire does on that leaf. I don't think it actually does anything worthwhile. So I should just never mind it. Um. All right, then we're good to get back up there. The next time I see fire, I'll try Magnesis. I mean, I don't see why. Oh, on the fire lanterns. That does make sense, doesn't it? So I don't, I mean, I could just use this one, right? I mean, I would imagine so. It's really hard to control. But I guess if I swung that the other way, that's probably what I'm looking for here. Oh, well that's broken now. So my option with that one is just gone. Well, I could totally just cheat this one out too. And I like how there are different answers to this one because I could just get a flint. Um, Where's the flint? Hold it. Drop it. And then get out of here. Ow. Ow, that hurt. But it'll be enough to drop that barrel. And drop it. Flint's not that hard to get, so I don't really mind doing it that way. And we made it! Yeah! Easier, easier not. Here I come. There you go. Hello, sir. I have saved you from your cube. He's gonna be all like. I like that cube. Your resourcefulness and overcoming this child speaks to the promise of a hero. Swing first with the magnesis and then hit it with a bow. Ah, yeah, that could have worked too. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. My way was, I guess, a little bit more wasteful, but hey, got the job done. So I need to go and get some stuff out of these orbs. But I have a teleport spot, and that makes me happy. But I would like to continue forward for now with that spirit orb. Um, and we got a full health refill, which is great. And we'll teleport back up now. We, we get the idea there. But yeah, I'll try to continue exploring Goron for the next like 10, 15 minutes or so. Now that I've gotten that done, I don't have to worry about it as much. Uh, the next hour we'll play, we will focus more on the towers. I would like to get at least one tower, but multiple is always good. Clearing out the map seems like it always is, is always a good idea. Get all the chests. I think I got all of them. I didn't see any areas in there that I didn't get. So I think I got all of them. I think there's a way to find out though. You see a little, sh okay, so there's a chest there, which means I guess maybe that I haven't gotten them all. 
Let's check out like over here. Does that chest mean I've gotten them all or does it mean that there's still a chest remaining? Hard to tell to be honest. Uh, I have no clue. Get all 120 shrines. I will eventually, but I mean, I was just gonna be like, okay, got it, done, easy. All right, so there are some abandoned mines around here. But I wanna just explore Goron City, meet more people. I just wanted to be able to have a teleport spot for when I inevitably fail. Oh, hello, you look like a turtle. Hello, sir. Oh, you have an eye patch too? Drudge, that's blasted Rodania. What's wrong, Bluto? With Rodania's running wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Do you see Rodania stopping around up there on that mountain? Oh, this is the guy, okay. They say that a hundred years ago, it actually used to protect our people from harm, but that's what was then, and this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We, we're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing our business. I can't tell you how many times we've used the cannon to chase off that fiend. But it always comes back! Ma! I think he pulled his back. Yeah, are you okay? Oh, it's just me, just some back pain. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Goodbye, he's figured it out, get out of here. <laughs> Run! I see. So then, you came all this way to pay your respects to me. I like you already, brother. Well, my name's Bluto. I'm the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child. Or to make a silenced child cry. Either way. <laughs> yes, it's none other than I, Bluto. I was planning to drive off Rudania like I always do, but then this blasted pain from my back flared up out of nowhere. That blasted Yonobo, when will he return? Who's Yonobo? Yonobo is a young Goron who helps me drive off Rudania. Where is he? He went to grab some painkillers from my back and abandoned, uh, from the abandoned North Mine and he hasn't come back yet. Okay, I can help. Slacker. I bet he's off some, well, somewhere wasting time. Hey, if you happen to see Yonobo, will you let him know I'm looking for him? Sure, maybe he's in trouble. Ah! Ugh. Ouch. You can only get a spirit orb from completing a shrine. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. We're worried about getting all the chests. When the middle part is yellow slash orange, it means that the spirit orb you didn't collect yet. I know about that, yeah. Anyway, so it looks like we got more to her. I hope your nobo comes back soon. All right, what else you got behind you? Oh, is this a thing where I can deposit? Pray. Yes, it is, okay, I was gonna go all the way back to Kakariko. You who have conquered the shrines and claim the best spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is you desire. Heart container, stamina vessel. I guess we'll do another heart container. Get ourselves up to six hearts. And then I need, I do need more stamina eventually, but we can make work with what we have. I shall grant you the power you seek. Hooray, we got it, we got it. <laughs> awesome. So that is six hearts now, or is that only a half? Your life force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum numbers of hearts by one. Nope, it's gonna be a full one. Hooray! Go and bring peace to Hyrule. I'll try my best, lady. I will try my best. What's going on in here? Uh, not much. Got a little pile of ash. This is why your back hurts. Where's the lumbar support, dude? You gotta sit on more of a cushion. Okay, well you know what? I don't, I, not my problem. Oh, hey, a blue rupee. I'll take it, free money. I should probably, I mean, I should probably do that with a weapon I can afford to lose a bit more. Got it. Oh, that's, is that 10? Hold on, pick this up. 50, look at me. I'm stealing from this town, but hey, free stuff is free stuff. What in the world is this sword? It is the Cobble Crusher, a Goron made two-handed weapon. It's made from thick, hard metal and has no cutting edge. So it relies on sheer weight to crush all opponents. That has to be just as good as the ax, right? I can just drop the ax at this point because I've been holding on to this thing for too long. Drop the ax and pick up the Cobble Crusher. Now that's an awesome name. See, we were in here before. There wasn't too much, but I also didn't realize I could just take from people. And that's like totally okay in this game. All right, well, not too much more. 
what else can we find around here? I, have, I, I don't think I've been in every building, and I definitely haven't broken every pot. I could get 50 more rupees from here and there. So there's you again. If I could get you know a good chunk of rupees from this, it'll help me a lot with getting more of that armor. A customer? Who are you? You're a traveler? In that case, I'll take you somewhere nice. Follow me. Over here. Okay. You seem nice. Oh, okay. You're going. You're moving. You're moving and going. Uh, this is nice. That's it. The armor shop. Recently, something called the Divine Beast Varudanya showed up on Death Mountain. Since then, it's gotten a lot hotter here. That's why we're selling fireproof armor. Don't worry, I know all about it. Well, what about this? This is uh, 700, and then this is way more expensive at 2,000. So I need 2,700. It's not illegal if you don't get caught. Well, that's technically not true at all. You can do something illegal, and if you don't get caught, it's still illegal. You don't want to get that in people's minds because it's not true. So he looks like he's exercising. Oh, 50 more, awesome. Where did he go? My reckless brother hasn't come back yet. What in the world is he thinking? Brother? My little brother Gongoron. I'm really proud of him, but he said he was gonna go dig up the secret of the hero and then just he just took off. I really don't know what in the world he got got into him. Where did he go? I'm certain my little brother went off to Gorko Tunnel, southwest of Gorko Lake. The bedrock in that tunnel was incredibly hard, so his Gorons gave up, gave up trying to dig it out ages ago. Instead of chasing dreams, I'd prefer to see him face reality and help us out with the important Gor Goron work. He's mad still. A brother's roast. I wonder when my little brother will come home. You can't really be searching for the secret of the hero in the depths of the Gorko Tunnel, right? Secret of the hero? The secret of the hero is a fairy tale of sorts, passed down from Goron to Goron for ages. As for me, I heard about it from my dad's cousin's neighbor's uncle. But I know better. It's just an excuse for him to slack off and dream his life away. I really wish he'd grow up a little. I mean, maybe he's right this time. Uh, what else do you have to say? Uh, Gorko Tunnel. Gorko Tunnel is in the abandoned spot southwest of Gorko Lake. The bedrock's insanely hard in that area, so we gave up digging ages ago. Um, okay, so never mind. I actually read that part. See you, dude. You got any pots I can break in here? Not really. He's following me around. Uh, there are a couple more. I talked to you. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Don't get scared. Nothing. Okay. Well, we made some fair progress. I could try some of these. Cause I feel like we can't do too much more outside of here without just going into flames. I'll go inside of this building and talk to the lady because I just haven't. Oh, one more. One bit closer. Oh, hey. What's going on with you? Saba. Saba, Saba. Look at you, taking up a woman in the middle of the night. Middle of the night? Okay, that's not what I... Oh, that's too bad. Who are you? I'm Ramella. As you can see, I'm from the Gerudo region. Cool. I came from the jewels that were are to be found in Goron City. Uh. These days, those magma bombs are causing trouble and preventing me from working. Not too happy about it. What is it? Have you ever seen a real Gerudo before? Aren't you hot? Or da da da. I guess you, you should be. Oh, well, I slathered fireproof elixir on my skin, so I'll be fine. If you want to buy fireproof elixirs, a little Goron brat is selling them, so she buy one and use it. I'd pay anything to save myself from this wretched heat. Well, then, I really can't believe this heat. There's no rest in the jewel business, so I need to apply a fireproof elixir. Um, that's all you have to say. Bye. All right, you're interesting. Uh, anything else to do in here? I mean, I can talk to you. Oh, you're not a lady. I thought you were an old lady. Well, maybe you are. Hard to tell. Well, well. A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. If you want to throw in a Goron massage, it'll cost you 80 rupees. A massage? You know, do the art of Goron massage, I'll take it. That's okay for the first, there's a first for everything, as I say. Uh, a Goron style massage is done on the top of a hard rock bed. Pressure is applied to your body to squeeze that tension out. And I'll tell you, it doesn't hurt one bit, mostly. Honestly, I doze off sometimes. Yeah, but your back is made out of rocks. When it's all over, you'll sleep like a rock and feel great when you wake up. You'll be all limber and full of energy. A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. So I don't really know if I need that in a thank you. When you go to Garuda City, it's really fun. It sounds like it. That's the one I'm excited to go to out of everything. And that sounds like the most enjoyable. But uh, I guess we gotta work there, you know? <laughs> we gotta work to get there. Um, 
I think that's all I wanna do for now. Like, there's the Divine Beast. I think we're a while off to actually getting that figured out. If we take a look at our adventures log, we have main quests, and then we also have side quests, you know? Some of the stuff we have yet to really do, like Robbie's research. Uh, Puro told you that ancient materials you find can return to Robbie, you can find him presiding in the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Like, why don't we do stuff like that? Like, where is that at? I took a look. That's way out this way. Interesting. I wanted to just sort of take a look and sort of browse a little bit. Now that we've really been here, this is slated for upgrades. If you provide Pearl with ancient components, she can use them to strengthen your runes. The Sheikah sensor takes three ancient screws, remote bombs require three ancient shafts, and the stasis needs three ancient corn cores. So she can strengthen them. That might be important too. Arrows of burning heat. When roll the owner of the general store. So like, where is that at? Like, this is the stuff I don't think I can do because it's too hot. I don't exactly know where that is. I think it's, wait, no, it's down here. Wait, so what is that one then? I thought this was a Gerudo one. Um, all she asked was, was for you light the torches by the goddess statue in the village, but her suspiciously sweet smile made it clear that this task would require unconventional methods. Weird. Um, the road to respect. Fugo needs to defeat Igneo Talius and at Darunia Lake to win his master Rohan's respect. So yeah, like where's that one? So I'm just trying to browse and figure this out. Like I think going more this way is gonna to be too much of a risk because it'll just get hotter and hotter. So I definitely need to not do that. I need to go back to like here. So let's get started with that now. Because there is a tower that's new, not too far from here that I would love to do first. Then move on to maybe going north and doing all of the, uh, the crazy scientists that some of the guys are talking about. But yeah, I think we've done as much as we should probably do for Gerudo Village, or whatever, not Gerudo. Goron Village. There's Gerudos and Gorons, I'm definitely gonna get that mixed up all of the time, constantly. Um, But yeah, now it's just about getting stronger so we can tackle the next Divine Beast, because I think we got a lot of work ahead of us if we wanna do that. So I do probably want to uh, change my focus then to Robbie's research, or maybe slated to upgrades first, and then Robbie's research. But regardless, we're not even going that way, we're going over here. But yeah, we got lots of work ahead of us in this game. That'll be fun. I'm glad to have this new equipment. I mean, I don't really need to be wearing too much of it right now, but I might as well not bother taking it off. I do wanna see what the armor is for it. Inventory. It's as defensive as anything else, so. I'll just, actually no, I should equip this and put that back on when we need it. We need 2,700 for them. Do a side quest preparing episode next. Yeah, well, I, I mean, hoping that we can do an episode just focused on getting towers, because I feel like that's just a good way. What is this? This is a double axe. This double-sided axe was designed with fighting in mind. It's a bit unwieldy, so it requires a well-practiced technique to use it efficiently. I like that. So it's not for chopping down stuff. But I do have a lot of stuff that's used for like chopping down stuff and stuff. So maybe I could get rid of something here. Like maybe I don't need a cobble crusher as much as I'm expecting here. We'll do the double axe for now, cause I'm not gonna have too much to crush running. We have the uh, the axe or the mining axe and stuff. This is a torch. I would love to have at least one torch. Maybe I should sell these rods. I don't know. I feel like I need to sell something or drop something or something, you know? Cause I have a little too much. Oh, hey you, I need you. Actually, instead of selling something, maybe I could get another weapon slot. Do again! I'm trying to get back to the Korok first, but I lost my way. The folks from the stable here are saying that we're right on the border between Elden Region and the Great Hyrule Forest. Shaka! That means Korok must be very near. But as long as I'm here, I may as well rest up. Ah, oh, wait a minute. I know that smell anywhere. That's a Korok seed. You've collected a Korok seed from the forest children, haven't you? If you give me Korok seeds, I'll increase the size of your stashes. Uh, now which stash? I need the weapon stash increase for sure. Um, okay, I'll just need two. Oh, really? That is cheap. That is cheap, cheap, cheap. Let the expansion begin. Yeah, I want to see this guy. I haven't seen it in a little while, but I might start skipping this. Look at his little dance. So it's perfect. He's adorable. Yeah. Okay, so we got an extra weapon slot. Really, really needed that. I might even get another one. Da 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 da. I like how these things along. Expand to band band. Weapon stash. Akala. So then, 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 do you want to expand another stash? I might expand my bow stash down. Okay, I'll need one. Man, this is cheap. 
How did you get it done this sooner? I never know where he is. Let the expansion begin. I think he changes his location quite a lot, so I want to spend as many as I can now. Yeah! Okay, so there's another one of those. So happy to see it. I mean, right now it's not too helpful, but there have been times where I've been f full on bows. Okay. So I'll do one more weapon sash, I think. Okay, I'll just need three. Okay, now it's starting to get a bit more expensive. I guess one per slot. Gets one more expensive per one extra slot. So I'll skip it this time, we got it. But there we go, that's all I'm gonna worry about. We can save our Korok seeds for later. I mean, I guess spending them now is like spending them later, right? I don't know. But I'm just sort of getting bored of it. We got what we need. Nothing right now. Okay then, bye bye See you, dude, you're so pleasant. I love you. I've talked to the shopkeeper before, but maybe I could sell some of my stuff to him. Uh, such a pleasure to see you again. What are you looking for you selling? Look what I've got. What would you like to sell? Uh, like if I was, oh, he doesn't buy weapons down. So it's not really too much worth my while. Uh, I really don't know if I need this at some point, but really I don't lose items too often. So I could always just hold on for now. Oh, never mind. Goodbye. <laughs> Let me uh, pick up that torch, because I'm gonna need that. Got it. And then get this stuff. Okie doke. So I guess we will continue with uh, climbing up towers and getting all that stuff done, but I think that can wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Goron Zebra so I know you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.